In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a bigger drum sound by using a single compressor on the drum bus. Let's go ahead and load the Pearl default kit. I actually want to change the bass drum in this configuration. Right now we have the 24 inch Pearl. And we'll change that to the 20 inch. To me, it's a little more of a punchy bass drum. It'll work well for this example. If we jump over to the mixer, you can see we don't have too much going on, just some bus routing. We have kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, overhead, and ambience. Let's take a listen. Now what I'd like to do at this point is go to the output and we're just going to add a single compressor and it's just going to be this first option, the classic compressor. Now the reason we're adding this compressor is we don't want a high ratio at this point. We just want to add a bit of compression to the entire drum mix to make the drum mix a bit bigger. Now I'm going to leave it at default settings. We'll have a ratio of 1.5. I'm just going to increase the attack and decrease the release. Basically, I want the transients to come through as much as possible, but we're still doing a bit of compression. We'll take a listen, and I'll go ahead and bring down the threshold so we get about 3 to 4 dB of compression, and you'll see that here in this section. You'll see the gain reduction levels. Even right there, we have a ratio of 1.5. I increased the attack, decreased the release. We're doing about three to four, maybe pushing five dB of gain reduction. You can see with the classic compressor, it actually increases the volume a bit. We could use the makeup gain, but let's take a listen without any further changes at this point. bring the threshold down a bit more. I'm going to increase the makeup gain. Even though we're getting a bit of a volume boost already, I'll just increase it a few dB. And I'll increase the sidechain high pass filter so that way the low end information does not affect the compressor as much. We have the makeup gain there if we want it, but I'm going to actually turn that back down because we already have an increase of volume with these settings. If we take a listen and compare, we are getting a bump in the volume already. So we already have a bigger drum sound, but let's try a few more settings within this classic compressor plugin. We could pull down the threshold even more, keeping the ratio, attack, and release the same, and increase the compression, and then dial the mix knob back. So by doing this, we would be doing what's called parallel compression. We over compress the channel, but we mix that in with the dry, uncompressed signal. So there's a bit of a different sound, still a bigger drum sound, but you're mixing an overly compressed signal with the dry signal, as opposed to using the fully compressed signal, but just doing less gain reduction like we did before.
Another option would be to adjust the ratio attack and release. So we can increase the ratio to increase the amount of compression for any signal above the threshold. So by increasing the ratio, we're getting more compression at that same threshold level. So we could either adjust the threshold or we can adjust the mix dial so that we don't have so much compression and we can kind of balance out that higher ratio with the sound that we want. So let's keep it at about negative four to negative five dB of compression. And if we adjust the attack and release, we can get a different sound as well. If we make the attack faster, the compressor will start to compress some of the transients. As we do a slower release, the compressor will keep hold of the signal longer. So those are a few options that you can use with the classic compressor on your main output to change the sound of your drum mix and to make it sound bigger and punchier with a single plug-in effect in the Superior Drummer 3 mixer.